What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. As you could see in that first clip, this gun without attachments, it is one of the worst guns in the game. I would generally put it up there with one of at least uh, one of the worst weapons in the game. Once you start unlocking the right attachments, it becomes however one of the best guns in the game. At least it's on the high tier uh, of the LMGs you get to use in this game. Definitely worth a shot. Uh, but you have to go for those attachments at the end of this video i'll have a timestamp in the description if you're just curious for the attachments that i'm using it's at the end of this video uh it makes a huge difference as you can see with that first clip a great gun only exception is the reload is extremely slow but when i first picked up this weapon i absolutely hated it i didn't want to play it and then i started to unlock the right attachments for it and then i fell in love with the gun Enjoy the stream highlights and later on in the video, enjoy the attachment guide. I'm just hoping there's no snipers on the hill, literally. Oh my god, this gun becomes so much better. Yeah, please destroy your own gun. Or your own tank, I mean. Anyone on the team wants to have this? I'll drive it towards their spawn. Enjoy. Hey, no problem, it's Zitano. Uh, it's the button where I play this game more than I should. <laughs> <laughs> It takes a bit to get used to the new bun layout, to be honest. Is this smart? Oh, it's kind of nice. Oh, there's, I'm so dead. There's 13 players on this objective. And they know exactly that I'm here as well. The, uh, the thermal's a little bit bugged. Down. I survived for a long time though, so that was weird. They're like not real. Bro, that sound though. 
Oh, okay. I'm ready to fire. Uh, it's not that quick. I didn't use the shotgun much. from the youths. Oh, this is fun. That's a fun secondary. Doesn't seem to be too powerful. Like in terms of range, which is really good, by the way. Of course, the secondary doesn't need to be too strong. That's a kind of fun. Start. Oh, <laughs> hey, thanks so much for the gifted, man. You guys are going crazy already today with the gifted. Oh, the guy's pushing him at one HP. This is really stupid. Ooh, and Michael, thanks for what is going on, <laughs> bruh. Well, uh, okay, okay. I'm That was kind of cheeky. Ah, fair enough. That was a nice start, nine kills. You see, they stop. They they stop working in the smoke. Me, Let me smoke this again. I kind of like that. And I'll get sniped from behind. Enemy is down. Oh. Reloading. Reloading could be kind of useful.
Uh, I was trying to find some time to reload. So for the RPT-31, the attachments are extremely important. Uh, the sights are kind of debatable. It, it kind of depends what, it, what you like. I do recommend at least having one of your sights to be a thermal. And then I used the Kate Hollow as my base side, but I did use the thermals quite a lot, especially the thermal, the 1.25 thermal. And then here's the important part, the standard issue rounds, the uh, the rounds you unlock the latest, I think you need 300 kills for this, makes it a huge difference. All the other rounds either will lower the infantry damage or they will lower the rate of fire, the high power rounds pretty much. Um, so having the standard issue rounds is a must as this doesn't reduce the rate of fire which you very much need with this gun. I used the SDNR laser which increased the hip fire accuracy while moving. If you don't move while hip firing that much, use the LS1 laser. I'm personally always moving at least a little bit when I'm using, uh, when I'm hip firing players. Um, so for that reason I went with the SDR laser. Also this reduces the recoil. It is more detectable though, but I would definitely recommend a laser, which I normally don't really do on LMGs, but this gun seemed to be very good. Once you unlock those right attachments, uh, in combination with a laser sight. If you struggle with the recoil, go with the LWG grip or the Cobra grip, depending on your playstyle. The LWG grip is very good if you use McKay a lot, otherwise go with the Cobra grip. Then, short and barrel, I think it's a must on this gun. Uh, increases the rate of fire with plus 100, which you're definitely gonna notice a lot. Uh, so I honestly couldn't really imagine using this gun with other attachments than these. Unfortunately, this gun doesn't have a silencer. I normally would recommend running a silencer as backup. This gun doesn't have one. Uh, so again, the Kate Hollow with the two thermals, then the standard issue round, the SDNR laser, and the short barrel are the attachments that I would definitely recommend using on this gun. Hope this video was useful. Subscribe if it w if you thought it was, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.